Hey y'all, it's me, Lynn Daniel, coming to you today. It is Sunday, January 19, 2014. So, I'm just coming to say hi. Today is, um, well, tomorrow is Dr. Martin Luther King's observed birthday, but his birthday was really on the 15th, but um, tomorrow's when, you know, it's, federal, it's a federal holiday, so I think banks are closed and stuff like that, but... Um, I really, this is one holiday that I really um, like to honor uh, because Dr. King, I think, was a great man, a flawed man, but a great man with a great vision for our country. And um, I think his dream, his vision for our nation still holds value. Yeah. So, um, you know, I want to talk a little bit today about, um, I don't know, change maybe? Change. Change. I was listening to one of my, I have some favorites, bloggers that I listen to. They vlog and they do podcasts. They write blogs. Um, political in nature, uh, social um, looking at social issues, looking at religious issues, um, things like that. So I really like to uh, stay informed through these bloggers, vloggers, and podcasters. Some of them. Many, well, yeah, the ones I listen to. And one of them was talking yesterday about how... You just have to know, you have to discern, you have to, um, especially if you're going to be ahead of the curve, on top of your game, in interacting with others, it's important for you to discern what people are saying to you, especially when they are telling you how the facts of how things are for them. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, really? So, people who are wanting something from you, possibly, will approach you with their stellar record and bragging, or maybe not even in a bragging tone, but pretty much telling you what kind of person they are. And I just find that to be kind of interesting, because... Of the people that I know and interact with, I can't remember anybody up front telling me what kind of person they are. I, I thought uh, most relationships just unfold like that. You discover what type of person a person is. They may tell you what they like, what they don't like. They may tell you their interests, hobbies, and stuff like that. But typically, when you're meeting someone and you're just getting to know them... I don't know of too many people who just up front tell you, I'm an honest person and I, I, I stick to my word. Yeah. So, so yeah, this vlogger said, <laughs> when a person approaches you with their record, with their resume, it's typically not as it appears. It's typically opposite, just totally flipped from what they're saying. And be on the lookout because, or put on your running shoes and get out of there because that person more than likely is not who you want to be around. So that's just a nugget today. That's just a nugget. Um, yeah. So what I'm dealing with um, on this Dr. King's weekend, if you will, observance weekend, is looking at the dream that I have for my own life. And <clears throat> the dream that I have for my own life, you know, um, for 2014. Because I've been on a journey for about uh, 2009. So that makes this is the fifth year. And so I'm really looking for this particular journey 
to come to fruition, to show results, to um, bear the answers, <clears throat> some very good solid answers. And it's been, it has not been easy. It has not been easy. And it's like the closer you get to the goal or the closer you get to accomplishing that um, course of action, you know, it just seems to get uh, like you're running a race, your body gets tired or your psyche gets tired and you just want to take a rest or slow down or whatever. And sometimes you may find yourself slowing down or, you know, but keep keep moving, keep moving, keep moving forward towards the answers what I've discovered. Keep activity. I am keeping activity going on these on this particular goal and have been for five years. This is the fifth year. And um, so I will really be blessed in my soul when I get that that final estimation, that final paper that says, you know, done, complete, you know, that is that's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, it's so important, I think, and I'm talking today, I'm just talking, I'm just sharing with you today, because, um, today is Sunday, Sunday is, is the day when typically I, I do my lesson plans for the week, for both my English language arts and social studies classes, I do, uh, you know, I start digging into my homework, make sure all my responses and things are everything is done that's due on this day I um, and then I listen to one of my favorite um, vloggers um, that has a very good informative um, program I do that on Sundays so and so even though you know even though I'm like with my family right now, it's it's not going to really, I don't think, change my routine too much. We're going to have a big deal over here today with a lot more people, but I'm, I'm just going to see how that works out for me to maintain my stretch of my regular schedule. So, but, uh, so on this, I don't know, for the month of February, closing out January, February, I'm going into a fast. Right now, I'm really on a partial fast, which you all know that. I'm on a partial fast, which is shifting direct directions and focus. I have more of a defined uh, purpose or reason for the fast um, that is a little more clear and specific to what I need at this moment. <clears throat> And I just want to say, like, this week has really been, um, it's, it's been a spiritual warfare week for me, to be honest with you all. It's been a spiritual warfare week. I had to um, come be with my family because those symptoms that I was having started getting so overwhelming. Wait, hold on for a minute. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I was saying, I just put some lotion on my hands. Ugh. Okay, I was saying that this last week, last week, you all, um, I don't know if if you all believe in spiritual warfare, but but I do, and um, last week was just. Spiritual warfare just simply means that, for me, I mean, this explanation may not be the best, but it means that you focus in on the spiritual needs of your life. You dig in, like, with the purpose um, and with the specific specificity and you go to God with your request, with your need. 
Um, so it, it's nothing magical about it. It's nothing spooky about it. Um, it's just um, a, it's a spiritual practice that helps you to get clarity on your situation and to arrive at an answer. And I mean, it was like that all last week. Every day there was something in my body that needed addressing. Um, and, you know, it. I, I have upper respiratory uh, situations since I was a child. So, um, and I've, I'm under very good care. I've moved into a holistic approach now, very recently, within a few months ago. But um, I've always been under very good care for this. So, when this, whatever started happening, it got me at the weakest point which you know I was told that when your body has uh, like a weak spot like um, estrogen now I'm, I'm no doctor I'm no scientist but this is what I heard someone shared this with me that at that weakest spot in your body estrogen levels rise which then like makes it easier for Candida or other uh, opportuni opportunistic diseases or things to get you, you know, to attack you there in that weak, weakened area. So that's something I'm going to research. So I'm putting it out there. So if any of you are in the medical field or you, you're knowledgeable about that, leave me a message down and let me know if that's, if you've ever heard that before. So anyway, so last week, every day, every night, I had something that I needed to be praying for. And I mean, it was like, <clears throat> it was like, pull in and like, really seek an answer. And I think about in the Bible, um, I think, was it Jacob who prayed, who held on to that angel's soul? Hard, so tightly that the angel had to break loose you know um, and there are other examples in the Bible Jesus when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane before his uh, the whole you know trial and all of that he prayed so hard he sweated drops of blood and scientists, I have heard where scientists say that can happen, where a person is under so much duress to where their capillaries or whatever dilate or something really physically happens in the body to make you sweat that way. Um, so no, I did not go into sweats. I didn't uh, have to get broken loose from an angel, but... I did have to really pull in and, hey, make my request known to God because my body was really saying some things like, mm -mm, if this keeps going this way, it's not good. So um, spiritual warfare is very important for those, for those of us who are Christians, who are believers. And forgive my lip gloss. My lips have been... I couldn't drink a lot of fluids. Like early in the week or last week, I hardly had any fluids. And then earlier in the week, I couldn't drink hardly anything. I think it was like Thursday when I was able to start really drinking. So my mouth... If you see my videos and my lips look very oily, it's because my mouth is dry. <laughs> yeah, so forgive that. I mean, be understanding of that. I'm coming to you all on these videos because I, I want to document my journey. And I also want to just share with you all how I'm doing on this thing. So this has been a very unusual, um, just unusual. I've never, I can't remember facing anything like this in my body like this. So yeah. 
So every day last week, every night, when I would get up, I would my I would wake and it was like go into prayer. Thanksgiving and um, gratitude. But then tell God what you need. And do you know, it amazes me. Every time I got a response. Now, how did the response come? It didn't come as an audible voice. You, you don't hear God saying stuff to you. It will come through a resource, through, you know, a, a text message or an email or you know some piece of information that you would read and it'd be like oh yeah and then you look that up and sure enough that was a piece of the puzzle that you needed it's very interesting you all so um, some people say well you ask the universe and the universe will respond to you whatever you believe you know whatever you believe especially um, I think people who because we're flawed people, nobody's perfect. I know some people get twisted up in knots when you talk about your faith belief, especially when you believe in Christ. They, some people think that because you believe in Christ, you're perfect or you think you're perfect. Well, I am far from perfect. Okay, I will say a curse word in a minute. And that is not a reflection of God. That's a reflection of my flesh rising up. And I know that and I have to repent. And I am no way perfect. And, um... But I don't look for excuses to go around doing crazy things that are harmful either. I don't look for excuses to dwell in my sinful nature either. So um, you have to find a balance. So I have to find a balance. And I encourage you to find a balance too. But So spiritual warfare for me this week was very crucial. And it really led me to a lot of answers. Now, I got a false answer earlier in the week, like last week, it was exactly, it was Sunday, last Sunday. And I got an answer, but it was a partial, it was a false answer. Do you know what I mean by that? You know how um, somebody will give you, like they will say, uh, yeah, take exit A, take exit 1, but then you have exit 1A and 1B. Well, which one is it? Okay, so it was sort of like that. I got an answer. It was a partial answer. Do this. Use this product. Use this to do this. But it wasn't very clear. It it came. It turned out to where it could. If you use that, you could do more harm than good. So consider the source. Like when you do go into prayer asking for an answer, consider the source of the answer. And weigh every spirit. Don't just trust every spirit because, and by that I mean don't just trust every response or don't just trust and have confidence in every person who comes to you with an answer. So it's um, a learning curve. It's a learning curve. I'm feeling a whole lot better. Um, I'm going back to work this week, Tuesday. And... Um, I will be spending today with family, with my lesson plans, with uh, <laughs> getting ready for the week, and really pressing in for the end result of the journey that I've been on for five years, and then, um, you know, some other things just for God to bring a magnificent a magnificent end or a magnificent conclusion um, an abundance of blessing on my life and um, a deliverance from lack um, a deliverance from it's just <clears throat> we go through those we go through cycles in our life we go through cycles and when you're going through like a desert season, just be faithful. Just be maintain that honor. Maintain that um, maintain a level of respect. Maintain a level of integrity. It, it gets hard, but it's just a test. You know, it's just a test 
it's just life and everything in life is a test to see who you really are when the pressure gets on what are you going to do who are you going to rely on and trust in so I'm very grateful for my family I am so so very grateful for my family my brother my mom my sister my daughters um, my sisters my brother-in-law um, I'm just grateful my aunts and uncles and cousins but really my my immediate family I'm so grateful for their love very all right be blessed make it happen <laughs> bye